Okay, what is going on CyperX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyperX YouTube page. As always, if you're new here and you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies, commodities, indices, foreign exchange, how to trade them utilizing technical analysis properly, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Guys and gals, I know a lot of people, okay? We've gotten thousands of views on the YouTube page. Uh, I know subscribing to a YouTube channel, you know, isn't really that important to other people, but guys, it would really mean a lot if you did hit that subscribe button. Really do appreciate it. Um, by the end of this video today, we're going to announce the $100 Casper giveaway, so stick around to the end of the video. In today's breakdown, I'm gonna be covering some technical analysis on Casper, um, as well as just reading some Twitter articles for you all and some fundamentals based around the Casper Labs um, network, okay? So blessings to you guys all again for returning to the YouTube page, and let's get started in today's video breakdown, okay? Um, now, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys before we get started. I want um, you know a couple of you guys who are watching this YouTube channel to understand something, and, and I say a couple of you guys because it's only a few people who are negative Nancys. They comment in the description, you know, on the comments on the YouTube page, <laughs> just in the funniest manner, like straight internet trolls. Okay, understand something. <laughs> Doing this YouTube channel for you guys, all right, regardless of what people say negative wise, I don't really care. Okay, so if, if you're the type of person who can't be an adult on the internet <clears throat> and, um, you know, all you have to say is negative stuff, guys, I'm just going to end up blocking you. So avoid that. If you like this content, then, you know, like it. And if not, don't do anything at all. And the people that continuously comment in the description down below, negative stuff, you guys are trolls. You have to understand something. <laughs> You guys, your mentality is so disgusting. If you take it upon yourself to write negative comments on the internet to make yourself feel good or to attack somebody that you don't even know, um, your self-esteem level of confidence and superiority on this earth is so low, it's not even funny. Like your level of mental capacity, if you're doing that and you're that type of person, is so below it's 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 I'm not I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop attacking you guys because then that makes me an internet troll myself but just understand this is what's gonna happen you're gonna get blocked your comments gonna get deleted and you're gonna be a thing of the past so don't even waste your time you might as well just skip off the YouTube and if you don't like the content don't watch it it's that simple so that's just the message to all the naysayers all the people that do love this content and the technical analysis breakdown and the people who whom I am helping understand price action better you guys blessings to you guys all thank you all for sticking around and thank you for subscribing to the YouTube channel those are the people that I'm trying to reach out to so without further ado let's get into this deep dive on technical analysis on where Casper is currently at right now and then we'll jump into some fundamentals very beautiful price action in my personal opinion on Casper if you guys follow me on Instagram okay that link is in the description down below also be mindful of there's a couple of fake channels popping up right now trying to give out whatsapp numbers for myself I don't have a whatsapp you guys so don't fall victim to that stuff if uh, anybody is telling you to message them on WhatsApp pretending to be me. All the links that we have for the CyperX LLC are down in the description below. We have two Instagrams and we have two websites, CyperXTrading.com and CyperX.Teachable.com. Any, anything else outside of those four things, you guys, is all scam work, okay? But anyways, this price action on Casper was absolutely beautiful. When we were operating up here at this B level, and I'm going to get into this second in a second, I had called out this position on Casper to put in, you know, potential buy limits. Um, and anybody that follows me on Instagram saw this play out to the T. I posted it days in advance when we were here on Asia Session, operating at around uh, almost nine cents. We came down into this area and uh, completely rejected this psychological level, and now you can see that we are almost back at nine cents. Now, getting into the technical analysis aspect on why this was possible and how we were able to make this move was very simplistic. Going into this is the 15 minute time frame, so collectively speaking, as a scalper and an intraday trader, this is you know a piece of the higher time frame for us. Well. We can see on Casper prior to this move down here at the eight, ten, the eight ten cent region. Okay, um, what was happening and why were we able to predict this pullback and then an expansion back to the upside? All right, if we look at you know the the technicals that I teach you guys on the CyperX platform here on YouTube and what it is that I teach to the advanced students in detail, what can we see here in this area that's very significant about what I teach you guys? Okay, we can see here that the market grabs some type of liquidity and then reversed momentum. And instead of creating the definition of bearish order flow or lower lows, lower highs, a downtrend, the market reversed and started to create the definition of an uptrend, switching temporary order flow. So from this A to B move, after price grabbed liquidity here beneath this low, you can see a transition in the market where the market started to respect the definition of an uptrend, which is higher high, higher low, higher high, higher than the previous one, higher low. Higher high, higher than the previous one, 
higher low, and so on and so forth, all the way until price reached this nine cent region, okay? From this nine cent region, you guys can see that we created the definition of a double top formation or a retail trading pattern, which in my personal opinion, because this is a double top formation, and now we have accumulated a triple top formation, I assume, in my personal opinion, that we are creating a massive amount of sell side liquidity or sell positions in the form of stop losses above these highs, and the market is about to decide whether or not to smash through them, continue price action higher, or grab this liquidity, reject this area of supply, and drop lower. Okay, so let's see how price action reacts here in the next coming trading sessions. But overall, all right, why did I call this bearish target out on my Instagram? All right, if anybody does follow me on Instagram, and why was this significant? Well, if we're measuring price, and this is where things start to get a little bit more advanced, guys. So for those of you who stick around and like my technical analysis breakdowns, watch how I'm going to do this. Okay, this was price action after the liquidity grab where price created a significant low that led to a higher high that led to a significant series of higher highs and higher lows that led to this A to B move from A to B. So we're operating inside of this bullish price leg, again, from A to B. Now that's something that I mentioned to you guys in previous video breakdowns that if we start to see a pullback, you can then, let me get rid of all these drawings real fast, measure with your Fibonacci discounted tool, okay, whatever it is that you wanna call it, your significant A to B move to get a general area of where the bank and institutions most likely are gonna pick up buying orders from if they are to push price back down into discount, which for the bank and institutions, private investors, they really like that 70 to 79% discounted range. All right, well, I assume that because there was all of this liquidity here beneath these lows and all of the imbalances in these candlesticks that if price was to surpass and break these lows here in the form of a triple bottom here, here, and here, that we were going to come and melt back down into 100% discount, which from this A to B move was operating at about 8 and 10 cents. Okay, I'm just going to say 0 0.08 cents, but you guys see the psychological level right here. Okay, um, so <clears throat> with that being said, in that mindset, let's focus in now on this area now that we can see that we were in discounted price from this A to B move. And I explained how we were able to incorporate that this was an A to B move. Why? Because after the liquidity grab, price reversed momentum and started to create the definition of bullish order flow. Left behind a signal to us in the form of a double top formation. Okay, that price could potentially want to reverse and smack back into this area of liquidity if the bank and institutions did not push price action down and create a new low, which would be the definition of what? A downtrend, which you guys can see we did not do. This low, this swing low, okay, did not take out the previous A to B move. What do I mean by A to B? Again, from here to here, price created a new bullish leg that broke previous structural highs. Okay, so we are in the definition of an uptrend. Okay, once price started to retrace, you can clearly see that we held above the previous low that was printed. So this is a higher low on the higher time frame. Let's per se the hourly or the four hour time frame, right? Currently, okay, this is what price is currently telling us. So how now determining that we were operating in a higher low territory, were we able to catch a position utilizing the CyperX methodologies? Guys, this is where it gets int interesting surrounding everything that I've taught you guys on this YouTube channel so far. Look at the accuracy surrounding this grab of liquidity and shift of momentum. How could we have caught a A to B move utilizing the CyberX methodologies simply just by understanding how price action reacts to grabs of liquidity, shifts of momentum, break of structures, and pulling back into discounted price. It's so simplistic and easy to understand. Even though this is a hindsight test, guys, pay attention to these methodologies. I'm telling you, back test them, hindsight test them, grab a demo account up, and then forward test them in the live market and prove this theory wrong. Other than that, if you're not going to sit there and prove this theory wrong and you're just going to watch these videos and be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, but not test it out for yourself. All right. You're wasting your time here. OK, you're wasting your time here. So now utilizing the lower time frames, how could we have caught this using this just the same principles? OK, identifying how price reacts after a grab of liquidity and after a shift of momentum, then paying attention to how price creates structural highs and lows breaking previous structural points. Look at this, it's so simplistic guys, okay? Same methodologies on the 15 minute, we're over to the left hand side, you can see that we're operating in discount region. This is now that discounted region, okay? So from this previous A to B move, okay? We've pulled back all the way to around 100% discount. But as you can see, it's not. This swing low is higher than the previous one on the higher time frame. 
Okay, so utilizing that knowledge, what can we see now on the lower time frame? Well, look at this. We see, <clears throat> excuse me, we see a false dump that comes into the psychological level. How can we identify that this is a false dump? Because if it was a real bearish move, it would have rejected the psychological level, not created a new high, which it did, and then created a new low. So instead of looking how price action looks, which is higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and so on, it would have done what? Deleting that. If we know that it was a real bearish dump, it would have done lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. It would have created a lower high and continued past the psychological level. It didn't do that, okay? So that is our first identification that this is a false dump to grab liquidity in the form of what? To the left-hand side, what can we see? Trend line liquidity, okay? Again, trading against retail trading methodologies. From the grab of liquidity, we see a rejection of the psychological level. Now paying attention to, if you guys, of course, have paid attention to any of the breakdowns that I've done so far, this is the first signal for us here at CyberX that price is potentially shifting momentum. How? Because price now has made a new significant high after price dipped into a potential liquidity area. Okay, so now the bulls have overpowered the bears. Okay, just for simplistic terms. Now this is the most significant new A to B move. So if price is going to continue bearish, it needs to do what? Break this low. Okay, if it doesn't break this low, then we can immediately identify this as a potential liquidity grab, right? And look what we get. We get a nice pullback into discounted positions from this A to B move, and we take off again. Price creates an equal high. From this equal high, what do we see? Going into London session, because I don't trade Asia session, which is where this price action was operating at, okay? What can we see? We see price pull back, then create a new significant higher high that breaks previous fractal structure which is what? Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, liquidity grab, brand new high, shift the momentum, higher low, that leads to an equal high, higher low, higher high formation, okay? So now look at this, guys. If you're lost, just pay attention. I'm gonna sum all this up, check this out. Again, what do I teach you guys on the Cyprex YouTube? What do you need to identify after you see a grab of liquidity and a shift in momentum? the most significant higher low after the grab of liquidity. And look what we have here. We have a significant higher low after the grab of liquidity that leads to a higher high, higher low, higher high formation. So now here in this area, after the grab of liquidity, we see the definition of an uptrend. So again, now understanding the principle of momentum shifts in the market in bullish order flow now being respected, we can measure the higher low after the grab of liquidity to the brand new high that it created before price started to pull back more than 35%. And what do we get? I'm telling you guys, this methodology is insane. So now we're rolling over into New York session, which is what we look at to trade cryptocurrencies, commodities, indices, foreign exchange, right here on Cyprex. You guys know that this is our window of opportunity to place trades from 6 a.m. to about maybe 10 a.m. California East, uh, Pacific Standard Time, okay? so. I'm telling you guys, pay attention. Now watch, same thing, same principle, higher time frame on the 15 minute chart. This is all discounted price. Granted, on the fractal nature of things, we are now operating inside of a new A to B move. So where do we now take our Fibonacci? Again, same thing that we did, we see on the higher time frame where we see the grab of liquidity, shift the momentum, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low formation start to form from A to B, we took our Fib, from here to here, okay? And we see that we're in discounted positions. Now, on the fractal nature of things, we can get higher confirmation by understanding that momentum has now shifted in this area. I've broken that down to you guys. We see a break of structure that leads to a higher low. That leads to a higher high, higher low, higher high formation. Again, liquidity grab here, shift the momentum. Here, now this is where the this is where the pattern comes into play, right here, guys. Okay, look, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high formation. This is the bread and butter, right here. Okay, this is now a new A to B move from here to here. Okay, again, understanding proper bullish order flow. 
All right, now this is just scratching the surface on what we teach the CyberX Advanced students. Again, to get those sniper entries now, all you would have needed to do is understand this strategy, take your Fibonacci from the higher low after the grab of liquidity that led to a new break in previous price action structure. As we can see here, this is a high that was broken after the grab of liquidity, after price created a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high formation. And what can we see? Again, utilizing the discounted price of 70 to 79% for our entry criteria, you could have capitalized on a beautiful risk to reward. Just focusing in on your Fibonacci extensions, what can we see? Again, the 100% extension would have been a one to five risk to reward ratio. That's 5% in your overall capital. The 200% extension, which I hope to see come into fruition because I'm currently in this trade, come above the nine cent region. Okay, that would be beautiful to see a full Fibonacci 200% extension on this trade. However, you know, looking at where we're at right now, stops are moved to break even and we could potentially see a nice pullback because this area is heavily suppressed by sellers. Okay, you can see here that in this area, the market multiple times, okay, has completely been overtaken by sell positions here, 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 and here. Now, when the market does decide to grab the liquidity above the nine cent region, if we do surpass the nine cent region, I'm expecting for the nine cent region to be the last area before we do break back up into the 11 to 12 cent region, okay? So we could see a significant rally on Casper if we do break back above the nine cent region, okay? I hope that you guys enjoyed this technical analysis breakdown. Now, overall, getting rid of all these drawings, and that was just to break down that trade, okay? Again, if you guys are still here and you enjoy this technical analysis breakdown, Everything that I go over on the Cyprex YouTube is, is <laughs> it's barely scratching the surface compared to what it is that I give in, in detail to the Cyprex Advanced students. And I'm saying that, again, just to let you guys know that I'm just trying to upload this content for you guys to grasp some simple principles and understand. So that way you guys don't get burned, okay? You guys see all these YouTubers out there that are like, oh, buy the dip. Oh, it's such a great time to buy, you know, right now, blah, 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 in the markets, da, 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 da. Which overall, if you're a long-term holder that isn't looking at their portfolio, granted, the long run, I can't give you guys investing advice. Do I think overall crypto is in a good place to buy via the long run? Yes. Could price potentially drop lower? Absolutely, which is why I don't understand the majority of these people that watch these YouTube channels, every every freaking video they post is bullish. What I see on Casper right now is a bull trap where price action is creating a series of significant higher highs and higher lows in the form of trend line liquidity. And I honestly think, especially if you know some negative stuff and some negative news comes out surrounding you know the Ukraine uh, Russia tension that's going on right now, anything with Biden's new um, you know cryptocurrency outlook that's coming up, all right in February, anything that could be volatile towards the market is going to cause uncertainty. And in my personal opinion, I'm expecting some lower price targets on Casper. Now again, this is all just hypothetical. Okay, but I do think that Casper is creating a bull trap right now. I do think that it is going to drop lower, okay, and maybe get sucked anywhere into the five to three cent region, okay, before we do actually see a nice bullish rally. I think that there's way too much liquidity on the higher time frame and some of the lower price action targets and ranges. I go, I told you guys in the previous Casper video, okay, down here in this area, what can we see? We see the same trap potentially being set up where we see this trend line liquidity. Okay, now if Casper does not rally from where we are at right now, you guys will know that this is most likely a bull trap. If we start to see price peel back and start to dump past the eight cent region, most likely it is going to have enough momentum to come and grab the buyers that are beneath these lows here that are potentially quote unquote buying the dip and the buyers that bought this dip here. So we have a lot of liquidity down here in this area. I wouldn't be surprised, especially if Bitcoin drops below $30,000 for this to come into fruition where we could see lower price action on Casper, okay? So my bullish targets on Casper, if we do surpass the nine and a half cent region, again, that's the most significant area of resistance that we need to break back above to see higher price targets on Casper. Immediately, I'm hoping to see a pullback into that 11 cent region. Overall, we are operating inside of this supply slash demand region right here. I'll box those off for you guys. Again, this is just simplistic terms for you guys to understand. Okay, for those of you individuals who uh, aren't too familiar with vocabulary, you guys can see that we're operating inside this supply to demand region. So if we are going to see any higher price action on Casper, what do we need to do logically? Okay, logically, we need to break back above this 11 and a half to 12 cent region. Okay, collectively speaking, we need to break above the supply region, then utilize it and turn it into support and then go higher. 
So this would be your most significant area to pay attention to via bullish targets if you're in any positions on Casper short term. And long term, if you're looking for buying opportunities, you have to make a decision as a trader whether or not to say, okay, is price discounted enough for me as a person who wants to be involved in this market? If price does dip below the current levels that it's at, can I maintain psychological superiority and not have an emotional attachment to seeing my portfolio decrease if price does dump from where we're at now? Okay, so you have to make that decision as a trader, especially if you're going to be involved in the cryptocurrency markets. All right. So that's my technical analysis overview and, and perspective on Casper. Overall, I'm extremely bullish on this project. Okay, I think that where price action is at right now compared to where it could go in the future. I mean, guys, come on, just look at this chart. <laughs> it's streaming potential. Even if hypothetically speaking, again, this isn't to put put a bad taste in anybody's mouth, but let's just say you know, Casper consolidated for another two to three years. It's still at a heavily discounted price compared to 35 cents or 40 cents or 50 cents or even a dollar. OK, and when we see and we look at the price charts over here, this is just to get into levels of resistance in the candlestick bodies, meaning that there are sell positions and stop losses above these highs from people that took sell positions here. And eventually the market will in the future need to come and liquidate these areas. OK, these this is all around. Look at this resistance here. Okay, this is around the 85 cent region, 90 cent region, and all the technical analysis and the uh, you know total market cap perspective surrounding Casper and the potential that it has to grow, considering the fact that Casper has only been available to the general public for about a year now, okay, is insane to the upside. The risk to reward is there, in my personal opinion. Again, this isn't investing advice, okay. So um, just, you know, that was the technical analysis breakdown, guys. Please, I do appreciate it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Blessings to you guys, all those of you who stuck around. Let's get into a couple of things that I found on Twitter and some fundamentals that I found. I will leave the links in the description down below for the two articles that I'm going to pull up. I'm going to save some time and just skim through them. You guys can go and read them. They're new, brand new articles that came out uh, just a couple days ago, either yesterday or the day before. Um, and you guys can read them. I'm just going to give you guys some some gems in them that I found. But just to hop on the Twitter space because you guys like that, this is a recap of the month of January. Everything that Casper, you know, succeeded to do in the month of January, I thought was very interesting just to show you guys that Casper is making moves. So January 19th, we see Casper Labs partnered with D Music to streamline the music industry with a new type of NFT platform. January 20th, Casper Token is enabled to deposit and withdraw on the crypto.com exchange. This was big for Casper. OK, why? Because in my personal opinion, this was Casper saying, um, hello, we're going to be there. We're going to be here, uh, excuse me, for quite some time because Crypto.com, if you guys know anything about Crypto.com, I mean, they're signing contracts with places like the Staples Stadium, excuse me, in Los Angeles. Um, you know, where it's a 70 year contract. OK, and you see this integration happen where you can now trade, you know, Casper token on a platform like Crypto.com. That's a, that, that says a lot about a cryptocurrency. OK, um, January 21st, what, what can we see? Casper Network partner with BSN, China's BSN, to allow an open permission blockchain adaption of the Casper Network and become the preferred blockchain for Fuzhou, for, for, the, for the, geez, blockchain for the Fuzhou city. I hope that I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. Um, January 25th, introducing of APOC, NFT collection, an apocalyptic theme NFT project built exclusively on the Casper Network. So these are all things that took place. Um, you know, January 2022, Casper's been busy. OK, um, another nice tweet that I found very interesting, to say the least. Look at this one. This was from moonking.casper. They tweeted out, ladies and gents, we are about to have a massive Casper move. First stop is the 12 cent mark, where a few impatients will cut their losses. After this is done, 24 cents, 30 cents, 50 cents, 70 cents. Now the real gains will be for those that know that even one dollar is still cheap on Casper. I'm in big cahoots with this. I, I completely agree. I think that we are very undervalued on Casper price action compared to its use cases and its future potential. So, you know, again, that's not investing advice. That's just my personal perspective. I think that there's going to be massive, massive gains surrounding the Casper network in the future. Coming over here, Casper chat, this article right here, Casper and Ethereum 3.0 before it's time. I thought that that was significant. Um, before we jump into that, just to show you guys what Casper would look like. OK, if we were to reach three point three billion dollars in market cap, one Casper would be worth about a dollar. Now, why is this interesting, again, to say the least, because when we get into, you know, the top 50 cryptocurrencies, we can see here. OK, most of them sit around a two point three, maybe two point five, two point one billion dollar market cap. So to say that Casper can't potentially, you know, have that big of a market cap is is baby infant money. OK, it can. 
It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of people picking up bids on Casper, understanding its use cases and fluctuating money into the system. Okay. So do I think that Casper has a lot of future potential surrounding these articles that I'm going to read to you guys here today? Look at this. Again, I've mentioned to you guys Casper replacing Ethereum. Okay. Um, and we see here consistency amongst that topic where there's constant articles being put out to the general public where it's Casper replacing Ethereum or how Casper is better than Ethereum. So these two articles that I found for you guys, one of them, um, I'll leave the link in the description down below. You guys can check this out. Uh, scrolling all the way to the top is from medium.com, Casper, a better project than Ethereum 2.0. Um, so, and then we have, we see 10 X, you know, pot, potential 10 X opportunities scrolling down. Just some very interesting things that I read in this article, cause I'm not going to read the whole thing. I've already dragged this video along too much. Um, just down here where it says, I believe it a lot in the project because this already makes the project and the success of a token, which is the team behind Casper is very solid. There are former Google employees, people who work at MIT, people who worked at Harvard, others who had a very important position in Ethereum. Now all these people have the goal to explode the Casper ecosystem, again, paying attention to the key phrases. Scrolling down to here, um, it's talking about Casper marketing, how the team is starting to wake up. They're doing a lot of digital marketing, doing a lot, doing a lot of campaigns on social media, and that is going to lead to the you know, potential, look at this, potential explosion of Casper. Okay. Um, this I thought was very interesting. The market cap of 500 million is nothing at all. When you look at the top 20 cryptos or the top 50, some cryptos are at 5 billion, 10 billion market cap that have nothing to do with the cryptocurrency itself. From a fundamental point of view, Casper has nothing to envy in its cryptos. So honestly, I'm very bullish for the medium to the long-term entry of Casper in the top 50 or even why not in the top 20. Um, that part of this article I found very interesting, again, to say the least, picking up the gems from this article. It just talks about how it's better than Ethereum, okay, and how it could potentially, re how it could potentially replace Ethereum in the future, okay? So guys, go check this article out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. You can take it upon yourselves to read the full article if you wish. Coming over to this article as well, this is another article. Again, this was published two days ago on January 30th. What do we see? The headline, Casper and Ethereum 3.0 before it's time, Okay. I'm not going to get into the specifics on this you know, article either. I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys to do personal research just because of how long I've dragged this out. But again, okay, what do we see amongst you know, the common theme amongst these headlines and something that I've mentioned on this YouTube channel before. And I know a lot of other YouTubers are a lot more fundamental based where they dive deep into analytics surrounding Casper and everything that's going on in the project behind the scenes. I'm not that type of trader, guys. This stuff for me is interesting for my long-term holds, but I'm a scalper. I'm an intraday trader. Honest to God, this stuff in the medium term and the short term means nothing to me because I'm as a trader able to analyze the immediate direction of price action on the fractal nature of things. And, and I'm able to capitalize on 3% gains on my capital, 5% gains on my capital just by scalping this market. So realistically speaking, these fundamental breakdowns and things of that nature are high hopes for you guys who are long-term hodlers who aren't really interested in that intraday scalping perspective. Okay. So that's why I do this. So if you guys want to read more information on these articles, you guys can click the links in the description down below. I will leave these two websites. One of them was the medium.com. The other one is the media word.com. Okay. Where you guys can read these two articles. Now to get into the giveaway, blessings to you guys for sticking around. If you have done so, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I know that it doesn't mean a lot to other people to subscribe to the YouTube channel, but guys, we're trying to grow a YouTube channel here and we really do appreciate it and it does help boost the algorithm, okay? So without further ado, let's dive into the giveaway. Hey everybody, I do really appreciate your participation. Guys, I really do appreciate everybody that subscribed to the YouTube channel. Seriously, do thank you all. I mean, everybody showed out, turned up. Um, last time I scrolled all the way to the bottom of the comments and that is who I gave the Cyprex $100 giveaway to last time and that was for XRP if I'm not mistaken. Um, this time I'm going to do the very top comment. So um, Kilo, you are the winner of this giveaway. Now I will message you. It seemed like you were having issues here and I replied to you um, that you were uh, you know, not able to comment and I had a couple of emails. You personally emailed me um, earlier today and said that you know, you weren't able to comment on the YouTube channel. And I saw that email, I replied to you. So I have your email already, but I'm also going to do a second runner up giveaway as well. So the second person to comment B Van Zelst, I'll comment and I will ask for your email or just reach out to me, B Van Zelst, um, via the customer support email down in the description on this YouTube channel. And, um, I will send you $25 in Casper token. Okay. As well as Kilo, you are the $100 giveaway and B Van Zelst, you are going to be a 25 surprise giveaway. So 
blessings to you guys all. Next time, I'm going to put some numbers into a bucket and I'm randomly going to select a number. And whatever number that is that gets pulled is going to be the number comment that gets the giveaway. So you guys, again, once we reach 5,000 YouTube subscribers, we are going to do another giveaway. Okay, so blessings to you guys all. I really do appreciate the love and the support for everybody that has subscribed to the YouTube channel. As always, be cognizant, be aware, and I will see you guys next time.